Well, hi, everybody. Uh, everybody in uh, Miss Burke's seventh grade class. I've been sitting here reading some of these uh, these letters that Miss Burke sent me uh, on the on the uh, boys of the road um, and our song riding the rails. And uh, you know, I've been reading these for a few years now, and. Uh, I can't, it's hard to believe that they just keep getting better and better. The first ones she sent me were really good, but this year's this year's got to be the best so far. I know that uh, a lot of you, all of you, have your your letters on the bulletin board. And Miss Burke, uh, Alice, and my daughter Allison uh, sent me these four. So uh, I just thought I'd take time to uh, maybe just uh, talk a little bit about uh, these letters. The first one I read was uh, Tony Giannotti, and uh, what I really liked about your letter, Tony, was I liked the way you added uh, your own voice to what happened. And the idea you're going to get the farm back for your kids, uh, I liked that a lot. And the, the paper, this paper looked like it had a hard road to travel to get there, and I really, I think that's probably a lot, a lot the way it was back then. Uh, just, just, uh, just a great, great little piece of writing. Thanks, Tony. And the next one I wanted to talk about was uh, Bella's. Bella, I really liked the phrase, Mama, skinny as a chicken with no feathers and twice as bare. That, that's an original, a great original picture. And uh, I just, uh, I could just picture that instantly. And uh, I like the way you added uh, President uh, Franklin Roosevelt and the CCC. That's, uh, that was an important thing that happened uh, back during that time. And uh, the idea about the burnt paper was a great idea. Uh, looks like it came from a place where you jungled up and just maybe got caught in the fire for a second, uh, adding a little bit more uh, realism to this. But uh, I really like, this is, not, this is one of the other ones I really liked. And uh, Ryan, uh, I really liked your conversational language. You, your language and your letter took me right there. Uh, it's, it's kind of the way I, I write songs. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like a conversational writer. And uh, you, just, uh, you just took me right there. And uh, I like the way, I like the phrase, why he'll whack that, excuse me, <laughs> he'll whack you with that stick of his all the way to the next stop. What a great action uh, picture, like a, like a one big verb. I loved it. And uh, I loved the way uh, the crumpled look of the paper, that, that was a great, uh, uh, that was a great look to it. And I like the way you brought in, really, you seemed to really care for your parents. You wanted to get them some food and take care of them. And I, I think most children caught in this time uh, felt the same way. So uh, that was really, really good. Thank you. And uh, the last one I wanted to talk about was uh, one that was sent. I had your name. Wait a minute. I'm not done yet. I'll get it. Mariah Hendricks. This, this, this letter has haunted me. It's haunted me because uh, the pictures that, that you chose to put in your letter and uh, your phrase, I found, found you all some pictures that I've been trying to find forever. These are the pictures of what it's like and what I've been seeing lately, Betty. Love, Betty. And these are, these are fantastic photos from that time period. And you can't help but get the desolation and the, the I mean, it's hard to believe that this really happened, that people, children did this, but they did, and you've gone a long way to bring that right to the front. And um, I loved your letter. Your letter was so, so real and so heart, heart rending. And um, I just loved everything about it. And, and uh, I, I loved your, uh, I loved your uh, envelope that you were going to send it into uh, Mr. and Mrs. James Hendricks, uh, uh, your dad and your mom, and uh, a stamp. 
it says Arkansas, and then the stamp, and uh, it must have been, it says Hoovervilles, like a Hooverville stamp. Uh, I thought that was just terrific. So I just want to tell you that I think, uh, I think uh, Ms. Burke's class is really a very creative uh, group of, uh, of students, and, and I, I applaud all of you uh, in your work. And thank you for uh, letting me read a few of these. And I'm going to send these on to my co-writer, Jamie Ferrugia, in uh, Fulton, Missouri. And he reads them every year, too, and he, he, he loves them. And, and anytime you're a, a songwriter or a writer, and people write about what you've done, and you see, you see real people uh, that were in your song being written about, uh, it makes a writer feel great. So I appreciate every one of you, and thank you very much, and uh, we'll, we'll see you on down the line. Thanks.